Hey guys, it's a piece of bendable plywood. Today I'm gonna to show you my favorite use for this stuff. Let's go. So let's talk about this stuff. You can see here, it's flexible, very much so. A lot of people will use this for archways if they're, if they gotta do an arch in a home and they need to basically cut a strip out to fill it, this is great for that. If you need to make an entryway, like a hostess stand or something, and you need it curved, it's perfect for that too. Um, it's basically constructed of, and I'll show you a close up right here, check it out. It's constructed of a thin veneer of ply in the middle that is running long ways and two other pieces that are joined as they sandwich that veneer and that grain is running the opposite direction, which is very flexible. You can also get this to be flexing the other way. This is basically the four foot ends are touching. You can buy this the other way around where the eight foot ends would bend and touch each other. So a lot of applications for it. You can find it at your local lumber dealer here in Florida. Uh, Florida Southern Plywood has it. Um, in Jacksonville, but I'm going to show you a very utilitarian way I like to use this stuff. Uh, I've been doing it for years, and I actually made a video kind of on it at one point, but it needs to be refreshed, and I'm going to show you kind of a new adaptation. Hope you like it. Let's dive right in. Right, start things off, I'm going to grab my Bora centipede, and we'll get cutting. So this centipede is new to me. Basically, it's a portable work surface that folds up and extends out and is super strong. This one can hold 6,000 pounds. I'm getting older and wrangling plywood is not as easy as it once was and this really helps. Whew. Okay. This Bora centipede is a perfect application for this. Just cutting this on the table saw, mm, too dicey. Speaking of making things easier, I finally upgraded to a track saw. Okay, doing this, I realized I gotta put a piece of foam down. This stuff is so flexible. Like I said before, I'm getting a bit older and wrangling plywood is not as easy as it once was. This is only a 3 8 inch sheet, which is the size that this bendable stuff comes in, but I rely on 3 quarters of an inch Baltic birch 4x8 for my business, and this has made everything so much easier. Hey, I'm going to tell you something that I'm not great at. I'm not good at offering digital files to the community. I'm just not. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm better at it. I've got a list of digital files here that are now down below. So if you have these machines and you like what we do here, but you don't really wanna purchase a bunch of physical products, you wanna make them yourself, they're now available. Okay, check the website down below and back to the project. With my pieces cut to length and width, I'm gonna break the edges on everything. And then I'm gonna install a few pieces of this foam insulation. You can find this stuff in the plumbing supply of your local big box store. And it has adhesive on both sides, which is pretty handy. So basically I'm gonna slide it into the edge, rip off the paper backing and let the adhesive go to work. Now with the foam installed, I need to drill a few holes. These are only about three quarters of an inch, just for some finger holes, because I need a place to grip what I'm making. I'm then gonna come back with another drill bit and actually reinforce this. I'm truth be told, I left this insulation outside a couple days and it rained. So the adhesive wasn't as strong as it probably was. I didn't feel like going back to buy some more. So I'm just reinforcing these with zip ties. So what the heck is this for? Well, check it out. You know, these bags don't stand up on their own. You don't always have a small trash can around, so having these is pretty nice. Truth be told, this is not my idea. This product that is similar to this look is called the Quick Can with a K. It's uh, commercially available. I've had them before, but I didn't like how they didn't last as long. The plastic would chip and it just didn't hold up. So I'm making my own and I'm making a bigger one. Check it out. So you see I'm outside now, you can probably get the gist that I'm going to use this for lawn cleanup. I've got a ton of leaves on this property twice a year, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. So this is going to help immensely. And I've made one of these out of 8th inch plywood, like almost like a door skin. And it's seen better days because it wasn't meant to be bent like this. And it's really thin and it's chipping, but this I don't think needs finishing. That one didn't need finishing, I just think you just make these, they last a few years and then you're good to go. And to store them, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do 
is just put them up against the wall. Of course, these will go in my, you know, my shed. But for now, there you go. <laughs> you know, these things are really handy. You can make them as large or as small as you want. I did it uh, with the trash bags that we typically buy. Uh, but first, before I go, I've got a couple of announcements here. Um, one has to do with the people that like to support us. Um, we do have a Patreon campaign where if you want to support us there, we get various tiers and the, typically the, the gifts there are kind of like tangible gifts, um, whether it's a tumbler, a hat or a notepad, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I do um, have now an account for YouTube memberships. So essentially you can either save 10% um, um, at the entry level, or if you want to donate a little bit more, you can save 25% indefinitely on my website, whenever you want, with a coupon code that is specific to you. So <clears throat> that's, that's the deal. So basically, if you wanna support us on YouTube, then we have channel members now who um, take advantage of that offer as well. And I just wanted to let you guys know, um, I haven't really announced that yet, but there it is. Uh, and you get there from the membership tab on the YouTube page, on my YouTube page. So there you go. All right, that's all I got. It was great to see everybody at IWF. I just got back from there in Atlanta. Crazy woodworking show with the most massive pieces of capital equipment. We're talking like rough sawn red oak goes into a machine and then about a minute later, a box of hardwood flooring comes out ready to go to retail. Pretty crazy stuff. Okay guys, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on that next one. Again, my name is Chris and uh, looking forward to it. Y'all have a wonderful day and I hope you're doing well. Take care. Hey guys, ah, this is a piece of bendable plywood. You ever seen this stuff? Today, I'm gonna show you my favorite use for it. <laughs> How y'all doing? This is a piece of bendable plywood. Today, I'm gonna show you my favorite use for it. <laughs> I can hardly get through the seat.